PayPal and subscribe, please. As though parents across the country don't have enough to worry about with the high cost of living, mortgage payments, interest payments, and just the general economic downturn in Canada, there's something new coming out. It came out in Saskatchewan, Manitoba, New Brunswick. It's coming out in Ontario. It seems that school boards are telling teachers, let the kids change sex or whatever it is, but don't tell the parents. Catherine Cronus is a parent of school kids and you're an activist. Tell us what's going on with these school boards. It sounds like it was a big secret. So for years, without parental knowledge, school boards have been socially transitioning children without, again, parental knowledge. What is socially transitioning? Are you talking about sexually transitioning or socially transitioning? What so is it? social transition means that in the classroom, a child is given a new pronoun, a new name that reflects opposite sex. And so that's a school board, uh, I did some reading on this, it sounds like it came from Ottawa, from public health, to all the school boards, and they didn't discuss it with anybody. No, oh, parents have not been consulted on these policies that are just really coming to light right now. And so, well, what's wrong with this? Wait, I have my own views, I want your views. What's wrong with a, a kid at 13 age saying, I want to be a girl instead of a boy, or whatever it is, I'm changing my name, and parents don't know anything about it? Well, the parents have the final authority about what's happening with their child. They're responsible for their child. But it's more than that. It's really a psychotherapeutic intervention that is being done to a child in the classroom. And parents should be part of that process because it will set a child on the path of potential medicalization for life. And then the teachers can just watch, walk away. Well, the parents can't walk away. Very good point. Now, Marcy Ian is a federal minister, and she said that this is going to mean if parents get involved, some kids are going to end up killed. Is that just liberal hyperbole? It's total hyperbole. Uh, I think that we need to take seriously. This is a very serious and profound yes. change if a child is choosing to be referred to as a different um, pronoun in the classroom, uh, especially if it's validated by a classroom full of peers. Uh, it's not very easy for them to walk that back after the fact. And uh, like ultimately, the child also, you know, has to be um, like there's no consistency because if they're saying they're going to do it in schools, but then what happens to a child on weekends, after school, on summer vacation, uh, the child is not going to be affirmed in those cases. And what about the fact that maybe a 12 year old, everybody, or not everybody, but some kids have problems with sexuality or questions about it, which is a good thing. And what if the things start to change, go down? We know in Britain they change sex. And then when they're 18 or 19, they say, well, that was a horrible mistake. We're hearing many stories from people who have transitioned when they were younger and have decided that it was a mistake. And they are now stuck with lifelong, you know, irreversible damage, sterilization, um, double mastectomies, like body modifications that they cannot, you know, return. So so there's not one big general rule following everybody, but we need to find out and get parents involved. Catherine, thank you very much. A few minutes. Liberties and freedom of speech are under attack in Canada like never before. So let's keep this discussion on the air. PayPal, write a check, and please include your address so I can write a thank you letter to you. And ask your friends, please subscribe. It's important to keep this on the air. And thank you.